Hey, what is up guys? Chaos here, and today we're playing some Metro Last Light. This is episode 9 of our series, and I'm excited to get back to this game, because last time we played, we were betrayed by our, well, who we thought was our friend, and now we're going to find out what's going to happen. Uh, just wait. Just you wait, I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through all the trouble of trapping me? Hmm, there must be a reason. <coughs> Move it. We're gonna find out now. Hey, stop that! Blech. It's just being over enthusiastic, you know. Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Corbin? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, we're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. So I'm arrested, but I'm in the order, here to help. Is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Uh, no. Fuck you. I will not join you, communist rats. Come, you rat. Oh, he got his ass kicked out or something. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbut. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, or one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the <coughs> Comrade to the negotiation room. Oh, you know, because that's that's a nice thing to do. You just, just hit me in the head with a fucking buttstock, why not? Man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut to the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were. Yeah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. No. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six. Huh? Your mouth isn't moving, bud. That oh. Fuck. Still nothing, huh? <laughs> <Take> that, bitch. <laughs> you talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat. Passwords, code names, operation protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. <laughs> what? You never did that playing dolls? <laughs> no! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! God damn it! Alright. Mm. 
Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastard. And then come to my office. Oh. Oh, he wants to shoot me now. <laughs> well, I'm not giving you anything then. Oh, I must agree with Leon. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. Oh, and I'm getting stoned. What's up with video games and making you stoned? Fire Cry 4, get you stoned. All the time. Fire Cry 3, getting stoned. All the time. Metro Last Light, getting stoned. Pretty sure there was a freaking thing in one of the Call of Duty's where you were stoned. Or Call of Duty Black Ops, I think you were... <laughs> fucked up on drugs the entire time. Uh oh. Run. Run. What the hell? So that that thing saved me. So I that was me as a kid and that thing saved me. Huh. No wonder the Dark Ones love me so much. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this <coughs> You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't, Don't disappoint, disappoint me this time. time. I won't. That was a really horrible Call accident. General, I, uh, I won't. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck Corbett. Fuck my father. And Morozov. And the revolution and my own future. I'd rather be shot and end up like father. Killing his own brother. Listen. If you get out of here, just... Well, just live! Here. Get in there. This is the way to freedom. Believe Ooh. me. I know. Well, good luck to you. He let me go. Ah, there's gonna be some shit coming towards her. Yeah, and I'm gonna, you know, crawl through that because, you know, that shit's fucking gross. All right. Sit down, Corbett. Let's talk about the negotiations in police. Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about- I have a way of doing it without spilling- A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter- No resistance, then we just have to do a sweep. No, so you're not gonna take us. Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbu. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to happen <coughs> of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Babel has information on the, the Dark one. one. Great, so I'm going to stay around here and I'm going to start killing all the communists. This game's got it all. Killing Nazis, killing communists. Got a knife. Ooh, my gun. My weapons. I'm going to take out this light just in case.
Quit shaking. The manual says it's the red wire. So that's the one you cut. Hey, what the hell was that? Alarm! Alarm! All right, this gun's gonna make a huge difference. I really, I'm already starting to like the night vision on it. I get to be dark, and I get to kill guys in the dark. Another one of those diaries. Music. It's so dark, I can't see anything. Oh, my God. That's where I want to go. No, it's not where I want to go. I need to figure out where I'm going here. Cause I'm lost. It's so dark. In there. Alright, open in this door. Let's see what we got on the other side. What the hell are you doing here? Who's gonna patrol the premises? Me alone? Come on! Help! My ninja boys. I'm a ninja. I don't like this alarm. Come on, peek. Peek. Peekaboo.
There's one that tried to trap me. You don't put it in. You don't corner a wild animal. That's what they say. some more lights there but I don't need to because I just cleared this place out like a boss all right guys actually give me a second here all right guys well I'll call this the end of this episode hope you guys enjoyed talk to you guys next time peace